Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Kush with Best Florida Framers and Designs. Today I want to show y'all guys how to block um, stub walls for drywall. Okay, so let's go. What I have here is blocking already that's have been done. And what we're gonna do is bring this block in every 48 inches every 48 inches because when you you have drywall that is four by eight so that's four foot by eight foot sheets and this will be from the floor to the top of that drywall will be 48 so it's pretty much in the middle where you can have a nail or screw excuse me you can screw into something in between the studs so let me show you guys how to do that. Okay, let's go over here where I'm already set up at. What we we'll do is check here, which I already have marked. It's 48 inches, as you can see. Come down to the other side of the wall because we'll be blocking this one side. Come and check this end here, 48 inches. And what you do, you make a mark there and you take a chalk line, one of these bad boys, and you place it right in between here where your, your mark at. Come down to the very end or your other mark, you hold it tight and you will pop that line, which I already done if you can see. Also, I have a few, some blocks here that was cut out before. The uh, reason why I'm going back over this is because other guys did it wrong. As you can see, some marks here. It was up too high. So I'm here to correct it. So let's see what we have here. First measurement, I usually go down the bottom of the plate and I measure. So I got 12 and seven eighths approximately. And that's what I want in between here, which you can see this is bowled out and will have to be straightened. Okay, so let's check this block. Okay. That's 12 and a quarter. So what I do is find a scrap piece. Let's go 12 and 7 eighths. that out so you will put this blocking in between that line. Couple nails up there. Straight. As you can see the gap here, that's be only because this is bold. So what you do, you push this in tight and make sure this is in between that line once again. There you go. Next one. And you do that all the way down. Uh, make 
make sure all that stud is straight and that you see it haven't even been nailed. So make sure you got good nails in there. So it won't move. Alright, in between here, about 14 and 8. And that will be my block right there. You can either start on this side or the other side doesn't make any difference wherever you're comfortable at and I put a little toenail there, here, come back here, push this stud in, make sure it's flush to the outside of that stud and it should line up, you should start Okay, as you can see, that roll is done. So what you do, I go back and check again, which everything should line up, even in the center here. You see 48 inches. That's where the top of your drywall would be. And you have a little bit underneath, about a half inch or so to nail, okay? Also, this side, everything would be the same. And we'll have to step this up once we do the first row here, all the way through. We'll go another 48 inches in between 48 and make a mark up here, another 48. do the same thing on the other end then I take I get on my ladder take the chalk line string it down and do my block in the same way so that will be it for the blocking it's very simple it's not rocket scientists for blocking it's just um, sheet rock nailing okay so that is that's it if you like the video, please give me a like and subscribe and I have more videos for you guys. Thank you.